Hi there, Mike Giannotti here, and I'm a Principal Technical Specialist for the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. Today, I want to bring you search in Viva Connections. And the reason is I had a customer that actually asked me a question about Viva Connections and search, and I wanted to clarify something. They were concerned that when we search in Viva Connections, and we'll go ahead and go to a full screen here, you can see here we have the search bar that, and I've already pre-typed the word healthcare. Um, they were concerned that just like the rest of Teams, when you conducted a search, that you would only get back information pertaining to Teams, files that were in the underlying SharePoint sites, conversations, people, groups, that kind of information, not information that came from this actual portal which is a SharePoint Modern Framework uh, site. And so that was their concern, but the, the, real, the answer is it's not, that's not the case. The search is contextual. It understands that right now we are here in the SharePoint Connections uh, little icon and that we're looking at the Connections instance. So when I go to conduct the search, watch what happens when I go ahead and click here. Um, if I typed it, the same thing would have happened. I get a drop down, and the drop down affords me a couple of options. Number one, it allows me to please to press enter, not please enter, press enter to view all results. So if I was to come here and simply hit the press button, you know, the enter button, yes, that's what I would see is the underlying share, excuse me, the underlying teams content, not the SharePoint portal search instance. But directly below that, I have an option, and it is search in SH. In this case, that's Smarter Health, this site here, uh, Viva Connections. It does say that it will open the SharePoint site, and it's going to open that in a separate browser window so I don't lose context here within Teams. Then finally, it did bring back another result around a person. I could click that and pull them up. But we're going to go ahead and select healthcare search in SH, and it's going to bring back the results that you would expect had you been on the home page and conducted a search. So you can see here, I have all, I have the ability to look at files, uh, sites, people, news, images, coming up, Power BI, nothing there, and learning, and I'm getting learning content, right? So Viva Learning, integration into search. Um, so I'm getting all that information here, but I did it from a starting point here in Teams. So that's the idea of how it works contextually. Certainly if I came here and I hit enter, you know, then I'm gonna get that underlying Teams content that you would expect, but it is contextual. So it's important to note that here we are, since we're still in Viva Connections, and I still get that ability to pull it up via the browser. So I hope that clarifies it for people. You know, certainly we want to provide all those mechanisms because somebody coming into Teams and coming into Connections, they may be just conducting, just because Connections is up, doesn't mean they don't want to do what they normally do in Teams when searching, find all that underlying content, people, etc. So we provide options or choice right here. So that's how it works. It's contextual. It is not just Teams content. You can also do the portal. And that's that. I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions around Microsoft Viva Connections or any other content, please let me or my colleagues know at our blog that you can always find at aka.ms slash MLS blog, HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. It's the end of the day. I'm getting a little punchy, but I hope you found that helpful. Till next time, this is Mike Giannotti for Healthcare and Life Sciences here at Microsoft. And you have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao.